I'm going to show you how to create a custom transition out of any video clip. So the three clips I'm going to be using for this tutorial are our first clip, and then the clip we're going to transition into, and then a clip that we're going to use as the custom transition, which in this example is a fire explosion. Now, if you want, you can find footages like this on any stock footage website. You can search like liquid or fire or ink or water or paint, and you can find stuff like this or stuff like this and or you can use any clip really but i'm going to show you how you can take the luminance values from these clips and use them to turn them into a transition from clip a to b so i'm going to put both of my clips on the timeline a and b and then i'm also going to put my third clip my transition clip on a video track above my clips so the way that we actually want to stack this is our clip a and then the part where we want to transition should be a little bit of overlay so let's say I want to transition right at the end here, this last few seconds. Let's say like Reggie throws this punch. I want to move my clip so that this interlapping area is the transition. And I also want to press C to grab my razor tool and just cut the end of that clip. So now I have this little part that's going to be the transition. And that's also going to be where I take the third video and put it in. So depending on how fast or long you want the transition to be, you can slightly adjust these things. I'm also just because this clip isn't the same size, just simply going to scale it up a little bit. But you might not even have to scale if all of your clips are the same size. And now what we're going to do is grab an effect called Extract. So this is going to be in the Video Effects Adjust folder and we're going to click and drag that onto our Liquid or Fire or whatever stock. Now the Extract effect will turn your image into a black and white value and we're going to create two kind of keyframes. We want to start at black and then eventually move so that the image is all white. You also have this softness parameter, which will give you a more cutout or more blended look. So in the first section, you can kind of leave it at the default values, maybe increase the softness a lot, and you just want a value where we've basically turned our image black and white. So I'm going to create a keyframe, those first parts. And then, as you go on, by the end of your clip, you want it to be fully consumed by white. So I'm going to lower the black input level, increase the white input level, and also maybe lower the softness until it's white. So now we gradually go from this to this. Now also this clip happened to start out pure black, but if yours didn't, if yours started out like this, you do want it to start out pure black as well. So that's where you might want to start out with a value like 255 black input. Zero white input, change the softness around so that it slowly goes from black to white and you get that transition. In my case, we don't have to because it started out black. You also have the option to invert if you want to try other effects. In this case, it works like this. So the next thing we want to do is tell Premiere Pro that we want to use this as the transition. So you can do this by creating a track map. If I search track mat in the effects panel, this is under the King Video Effects folder. And I'm going to add that onto that little cutout end of the second clip that we have stacked on top of the first clip. And in the effects control panel, we can change the track mat key to use that video track. So right now it's on video track four. Yours might be on three or whatever video track it's on. Select that to be the video track and composite using Matt Luma. That'll take the luminance values or the brightness. If it's black, it won't show up. If it's white, it will show up. Now, if I play this through, you'll see that as the flame happens, we created this custom transition. Here's an example where we don't get a fully black to white transition, but if we do add the extract effect and mess around with those levels, like I said, just keyframe, all of them start out fully 255, black and up, try to be fully white. Sometimes you might still just get that last bit of dust and specks of black, but you can add something like a levels effect so that at the very end, when you do need it to go fully white, you can simply add a keyframe onto the black output level and force it kind of to go all the way to 255. So you'll get that gradual fade to white. But again, if you do this video track four, track mat, you can do the same thing with any clip. So even though we didn't get that convenient explosion, we still were able to animate a clean start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.